You're listening to Ecstasy Radio. Your number one free rock and metal radio show. Powered by our friends over at Unique Beats. Let's get this rock and rolling. Hey, I'm Doc, and I'm the host of Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I've got a very special surprise coming up for you later on in the show. I'll be joined by Tarmo from Frail. He's a good friend of mine, and I had a great time talking with him. I think you guys will enjoy the interview. Uh, Let's get the rock and roll in here, as I always say. I've got Tyrant's Downfall first with their song, Dirty Little Secret. I think you guys will love it. I'll see you guys back here in a bit. You are listening to Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio radio show.
i
And that was Miss Vain with Song of Solitude, their newest single. Before that, there was the newest single from Red Eleven called Destination Unknown. What I've got up next for you is Alessa with their song The Source. You are listening to Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show.
Hey, I'm Doc over here at Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. And today I am joined by Tarmo from Frail. Tarmo, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking, <laughs> no Doc. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll be, waiting, I'll be waiting for this interview for a couple of hours. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to have you on here. Welcome. Thanks. No problem. So let's get down to it, man. Uh, so when did you form the band Frail, and uh, how did you guys form? Well, Frail's story, it's, uh, it goes back to year 2002. Um, I was doing military service in, in Finland because all, all of, like, uh, all guys need to go to, to military service at some point in, in their life. And um, I went there and... I, I make friends with this this one one friend of mine, and uh, we both shared a vision to have a like a American sound, Amer- American sounding rock band. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the beginning, there were only like two of us. And um, I remember I was visiting my my friend after the, like all all the holidays from from the military service, and and we we planned on on things for for the uh, for the it wasn't frail at that time mm. but uh but we like listened to battle of mud uh, we listened to live house um the calling so it was lo- like I, I was more into pop rock mm-hmm. during that time but eventually um my friend he knew a couple of a uh, couple of guys who who know knew how to play drums and bass and stuff like that. And ultimately we, it didn't take that much time. Um, the, the first, uh, like the, uh, formation of frail was, was established. It was two. And what is so the- it's, it's, it's like, a, that, that was the, like the, <laughs> like the, you know, the, dinosaur dinosaur time mm-hmm. of, of our of how do you call it yeah but after that the the group has uh, changed quite a lot so i'm i'm the only original member at this point okay where did the name frail come from well you know as a youngster you you always want to if you pl- like a you have the idea of the band you and especially if, if you have a rock band it needs to be edgy some kind of tough mm-hmm. uh, and and catchy uh, and uh, I, I had only like one um requirement for that i wanted to have like a short short name mm-hmm. and um then i don't know we we used we i think we had a call at some point <laughs> Uh, but it, it, well, it wasn't a, a, ever taking, but, uh, but then I, I think I will just went through the dictionary and, uh, I noticed this frail and, uh, you know, uh, f- fragile is something that you hear more and mm-hmm. frail was like, okay, what, what is this word? And then it's like, okay, it's, well, it's like a grandma's bones are frail and, and stuff. Life can be frail. So I thought it, Hey. Maybe there would be something, something there, and so it's. Uh, I've always thought I, that it's, it's like constitutes the frailty of life. Mm-hmm. Um, but as a youngster, you you really don't know much about the frailty of life, or like you haven't experienced any of those things. You mm-hmm. just want to be. <laughs> you want to be tough and 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 edgy, as I as I said. So. Uh, the real meaning of frail has really like um, uh, manifested itself in in, in in the later years, uh, especially with, within this album. But I I think we come back to that later okay. in this interview. Yeah, and you took a, a hiatus from music for a while, right? For um, uh, you you had uh, I don't really want to go into it because I know you know you're may, maybe a little bit uncomfortable, but you took a hiatus because of uh, like substance abuse. Right. Yeah. So, um, if if you may, I, I I could tell a couple of things uh, like um, that relates to to the to the time when we released the first album. Mm-hmm. Um, 
we we had a lot like a lot of buzzing around us um we we were selected to this uh, group uh of like a uh, like the bands who would be like potential export artists from Finland. Uh-huh. Uh, our music was played in, in, in Finnish national, national wide radios. And uh, we, we took part in TV shows and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And everything was well. Um, but uh, I, I have always had issues with like uh, my, my personality. Uh-huh. I'm, I can be a pretty <laughs> like hard person or, or overwhelming person. Uh, and, um, that was, that was also a good, good ground for, for different kind of addictions. Uh-huh. And it, it started pretty early and, um, one thing led to another and, and, and I found myself losing my, my passion for doing music. Uh-huh. Um, and of course these kind of addictions were, were a part of that because it's like a, you get, get so depressed. You're not interesting on anything. Uh, like, like you lose all the colors of life. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, the, the hiatus as was a, like, um, it wasn't planned in any way. It's just, um, years and first like the months went by then years went by and uh yeah i found myself a couple of years ago um i, I was like uh, i'm 40 now but i was like 38 or something and i i noticed that oh my god uh the thing i consider myself to be pretty talented and the thing that was once my like the biggest passion, I have lost it totally. And um, what the hell have have I done? <laughs> and uh, I, I I had the like the the power to 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 try it once again. And um, I, I contacted my uh, like because we didn't like never like um, um, bury. Uh, bury, bury the uh, frail. It, it, it just like a, it was like in in hibernation or or something like that. So I called the guys. Can you still play? Would you like to play uh, and try to do uh, music uh, still? Because I'm I will be like so disappointed as a as a like a old old man in my chair with gray hair uh, if I mm-hmm. if I wouldn't <laughs> do this do this thing. Right. And um, uh, because you know, ten years, so many things can happen. People get are getting married, they get kids, uh-huh. and the situation so different. So, um, uh, of course, unfortunately, many of those like previous members couldn't uh, like continue uh, in the band anymore. Of course, they supported me, but I but I now have like a new group. Mm-hmm. which is motivated and, and we we want to uh it, it's like a new version of frail i would say yeah i was gonna ask you about that <clears throat> i was gonna ask you about uh what brought you back from the hiatus and you seem to pretty much answer that <laughs> yeah yeah I, I i think it was like a combination of like um it was a realization of of um what things you really want to do in this life yeah and I don't know, for someone, it's like a, you have the thir- uh, 30 year crisis. Uh, for me, it was like a 40 year <laughs> crisis. <laughs> and I, I don't know, maybe it was a part of that. And, and like, a, I, I like, a, I had the courage to face all the bad things that has happened and what I've, what I have done. To myself and, and and the people around me so so that that was it was very emotional period uh, to be honest i'm sure man i mean like i've gone through uh, similar issues myself and uh you know it's it's not always hard to um i mean it's easy to dig yourself into a hole it's not as easy to try to climb back out of that hole you know once it gets so deep so yeah yeah, yeah. 
I, I, it, it, exactly. Yeah, I know exactly what you've gone through. You know, and that's probably one of the reasons I've really connected with your music the, the most is because I, I relate to your story. And uh, we'll get into it later on how exactly that has influenced the music. But uh, Tarmo, I ask my uh, audience a weekly question. And this week's question is, what musical instrument do you wish to play but can't? Oh, okay. Um, that's a good one. Uh, well, I can play guitar, bass, drums. Uh, of course, like I, I wouldn't go to studio and, and play our drums, <laughs> but right. you know, but, 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 but to a certain extent I can play all of those, but, um, um but maybe, maybe keyboards, keyboards and uh, like piano, mm -hmm. uh, I, I can do some, but, but it's so like, um, it's not like fluent playing. Or, or how do you say it? So maybe piano would be would be something because uh, because when I do like demos and I, I have this kind of a small studio of my own where I can record things and of course nowadays you use music software and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think I would be pretty good in 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 like coming coming up with um, with different things with with keyboards. Yeah, and and so it's like a. I, I definitely would like to be better playing um, piano. Okay, yeah, one of the musical instruments because, um, and I always kick myself on it uh, because I never took band in high school. So I'm, and I kick myself for that. I, I was a choir boy, you know. So I was in the choir, <laughs> and uh, that's good. Yeah, that's serious. That's good. Yeah, and uh, but one of the instruments that I kick myself for never taking like band classes uh, and learning to actually play was the cello because I'm a huge fan of Apocalyptica. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cello is, is is the sound is very beautiful. I I think. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't, I can tell that it's violin or cello, which, which one is like, a, I like the more, more, maybe ce cello is something that I, it has a, like, so, yeah. so deep sound. Yeah. You, you know, Apocalyptica is pretty much, uh, <laughs> proven that you can play metal on a cello. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. They are very famous. Yeah. Uh, so, their own thing. Yeah. I want to ask you, uh, about your video for the song come back to me i want to ask maybe about the background of that and the concept and uh, where was it filmed okay i start with the easy easy part of the question <laughs> okay uh, so it, it was it was filmed in in my hometown um uh, okay hey i want you to try to pronounce this uvascula uvascula <laughs> Yeah, good did job, I, man. Did I did I did I butcher it? Yeah, I, I it's <laughs> recognizable for okay. sure. Yeah. Okay. So I I think it's isn't it like a seventh biggest city in in Finland. It's it's like uh, if you know a capital Helsinki, it's, mm -hmm. it's like three hundred kilometers up north, mm -hmm. and where I'm living. So it, it was it was filmed there. Um, in in the city centrum, basically. Right. Uh, then ab about the about the song song itself. Uh, you know, I I think I I said in some I interview that it has like a multiple meanings. The come back to me song. Mm -hmm. it, it it can be like um, um, losing one direction or losing one love or losing your god or whatever for me it had it has always been like um like uh, it, it relates to you know this decade uh, long hiatus and like losing your what you want to do in life and and stuff like that mm -hmm. so it, so for me it, it it's pretty like loose in in terms of how, how you want to interpret the the lyrics yeah but it, for me, it was like that. And when I, I sent some some of the songs to to the director of of the of, of music video, he 
he said that, hey, I want to do a music video out of Come Back to Me. Right. And I would like to be uh, like a, a tragic um, love story or, or love. Well, it's not a love anymore, <laughs> basically. But uh, uh, so he come up with it, with the idea. And um, uh, we we had a, like a small argument mm -hmm. related to the very end of the video, you know, where where basically the guy jumps over the to his death yeah so making su suicide yeah and uh, a couple of our band members they were weren't like a, um, happy with with the idea that do do we need that part there mm -hmm. one of the reason is that uh, they have uh, experienced like very close to them like people with uh, suicidal thoughts and, mm -hmm. and and even suicides yeah so is it like it would trigger some someone uh but the director was pretty like um determined and uh he had the sa similar kind of um experiences in in his uh, like a, in his he, close people and uh and and he he just said that suicide is just such a taboo mm -hmm. that no one really wants to talk about yeah there, there needs to be like more about like saying that hey behind all those curtains or coulis that you have in life um, even though everything would seem so nice and and like uh, okay you have social media photos of your family but but in deep in your in your inner self in your heart you were totally broken and 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 you you might like plan to take your life away okay so so that's sorry i i have long answers but uh no <laughs> but no no hopefully i i answered your question yeah i, I mean you don't have a time limit on any answer so you, know, you can go into depth with <laughs> as much as you want to <clears throat> um so i want to ask you about the song because i'm getting ready to play it your song picture perfect what's the backstory to that one um well uh, you know this this album in, in general i have said that it it, uh, it it of course like i i deal many many issues and and stuff like that i have experienced but also i i would like i have those things that my people around me have have experienced and and this is about uh this is dedicated to a person who who once was like a very charming young man who who like um, have have the joy of his life and and uh, doing everything and he was so friendly but he got bullied so much from the early days of like elementary school all the way to to uh, like a I don't know what is the school system in, in uh, that you have there, but, but it, like high school or something like yeah, that. Yeah. And it, it totally changed, changed his um, like um, personality. Uh, he, I think that he was like totally torn apart. Yeah. And I, I got so mad when I, when I heard, those things that how he he got a beaten and like his stuff would has stole had stolen and when he bought a new shirt or or cap he was like a, instantly like a like a thrown into trash or, or something that uh, and uh, so it was like constant like this fucking like um, mental abuse. Mm -hmm. violence yeah uh so uh, i i just try to in in that song i try to tell that person who has experienced for instance bullying or or or, or it can be also like um, if you have like bad self image you have uh, anorexia or bulimia or whatever mm -hmm. It can be like a, seen in different ways, but I just want to say to this person that uh, you 
have the light in you, it hasn't changed. You just have the lie that says that you don't have anything there. So that's why I have this kill the lie, don't kill your light. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, it, it's me desperately trying to say to that person that, hey, what you are feeling, of course, they are real uh, understandable feelings that you have, but it's not the truth. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I just hope that you would see yourself as, as me and other people who are close to you see yourself. Yeah. So that's the, that's the idea behind it. And um, uh, I, I thought about the song name because Picture Perfect, I don't know, there, there might be like 100,000 songs called Picture Perfect. <laughs> but I just think that thought that uh, how, how, how else would you say it? I'm, I'm not a native English speaker. So um, yeah, it's a picture perfect now. And, and I think the story um, goes pretty well with, uh, with like the emotion, uh, oh, sorry, the music, uh, especially at the end of, of, of the song. I, I remember when we recorded and we got the last bomb uh, and, and you have like the trend, transition of, of you, you use like a little bit different chords there. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's so powerful. I think one of the most powerful parts of, of the whole album. And I, I almost started, I think I started crying because it was in the studio monitors. It like, okay. It, it was like a mountain of like a, of like a coming towards us. Mm. Because it, it's a pretty, pretty like a low, low tube and and um, uh, guitar wall that you have there that we have there. So yeah, yeah, I, I I like especially the last part of the song. Yeah, it's one of the to me. I've I've heard the entire album. Picture Perfect is probably one of the deepest songs on the album. Of course, the entire album is deep in and of itself, but Picture Perfect. Um, when I heard that one that one hit a little differently it it i don't know it's just got that it's it's got that emotion to it and it's just raw emotion to it and it's i don't know the song is just deep and i i don't know what to say about it i don't know exactly how to put it into words but when i heard that one i was just like oh my god you know what what did i just hear you know so i'm going to play it now this is Frail with Picture Perfect, and I'm joined here by Tarmo from Frail. We'll see you guys back here in a bit. You are listening to Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. You're driving forth For putting a finger down your throat A pattern from your darkest place Creating chronic remorse The drug that enslaves Empowers self-hatred You bring the truth It keeps you safe That's how you hold on
And that was Drown Again with Cage of My Own Skin. Before that, that was Affinity Falls with Constellations. What I've got up next for you is Beyond Today with Parasite. You are listening to Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. Hey, I'm Doc here on Ecstasy Radio, and I'm joined here by Tarmo from Frail. So, uh, Tarmo, I want to ask about your sound and influences in the band Frail. Yeah. Uh, so I, I I think I've already briefly touched on that topic, but uh, mm-hmm. but to give you like a more, more uh, extensive answer, um, the the like the if if you want to select one thing. That relates to to the band Frail and to to me it has been like the the American sound. My my desire for American like 
rock music. Mm-hmm. And uh, of of course, like a, <laughs> as a Finn, it's it's pretty difficult to 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 get a, like a, this American sound, you know, the pronunciations and mm-hmm. and of course, I have listened to uh, I, I have used to hearing uh, like different kind of music maybe that you have. We have pretty melancholic songs. Mm-hmm. But it, it was originally like a, a American sounding rock band. And um, uh, as I said, I listened, listened to bands like Lifehouse, The Calling, mm-hmm. Creed, Nickelback, Google Dolls. So, and, and I, I, I caught from those bands like the strong melodies and, and choruses. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think a song isn't a good one if you don't have a great chorus. Mm-hmm. or a melody in general right and um, then it was like a, in the beginning of 2000 uh, 2000 it's like a new metal was hitting hard those days and and i fell in love with the energy and, and the bounce bounciness of of that genre mm-hmm. and uh, and i thought that hey and i, I think i saw some new metal bands uh, and uh, their like a uh, stage performance was so energetic and i think that i i definitely want to include some of those ingredients to frail's music as well yeah so uh, it, it was like from going from uh, i think if you have listened to our previous album like songs called called like my place Mm-hmm. Is, is is something which you can hear like the new metal yeah. uh, bounciness and but also like the American rock melodies still. Mm-hmm. Well, after that, I I got a couple of friends and I, I started hanging around with um, with like a total head metal heads. Yeah, <laughs> they they were listening to. To like hate breed, entombed, in flames, and uh, uh, they were a couple of years on, older than me, so I, I think I wanted to please them at some level. So I I I started to listen to metal, but I I I, I fell in love with that. Mm-hmm. Except one thing that I I have always been very picky on 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 the metal genres I like to hear. If if you if well, like a metal band has like um, swords and and like uh, some <laughs> color in their face, I I skip that like politely. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 I, I think like a Swedish death metal in flames, soil work. Um, later um, I listen to um, metalcore. Under oath, well, it's 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 American band, mm-hmm. and even though Frail is not even close to to those bands, I, I uh, there are a couple of things related to the structures or or maybe some breakdowns that I um I I, I a little bit like uh, was influenced by the metal music. Mm-hmm. So all in all, if if you want to divide the musical elements of, of Frail's music, I, I would say it's like 60% of American style metallic, me- melodic um, mainstream rock. Uh-huh. But then you have like 30% of bouncy, low tuned, metalish or new metalish riffs. Uh-huh. And uh, it, it's like a mixture of, of those. Okay. And uh, yeah. You mentioned um, Swedish death metal. Are you a fan of uh, Opeth? Uh, I have listened to that, uh, but uh, but I it's like um, it's it's not it wasn't that um, much that I that I listened to, for instance, In Flames. Mm-hmm. But of course, I knew that know the band, but I I, I I focused more on In Flames. Okay. All right. So um, you've released your sophomore album, Stand By Me in the Storm. Um, we've touched on it a little bit already, but I'll let you go in depth about it and its background and concept. Yeah, so um, you know, the new start for the band, uh, I recognize that I this needs to be some kind of midterm 
testament of my life in a way. <laughs> right. And and uh, so so I knew that I I want to really um, crystallize the message and and uh, because I had these d- different stories uh, that that are included there and and. And now I'm coming back to the frail name um, be, because I, I think that I, I have tried so m- many times to be uh, to change my life and, and, and with my own pa- power mm-hmm. my, and, and, and my own strength. But, uh, but you always find out that you, you are weak on your decisions and, and judgments and, and stuff like that. So and, and then there are things that you don't really have any power to do anything. Let's say my, I have mentioned about my ch- child's uh, sickness or something like that. They are just things that come into your life when you get older. Yeah. Uh, so so I, I like a, had a vision and don't get me wrong, I, I wasn't in some, <laughs> I didn't eat any mushrooms or something <laughs> for that vision. <laughs> But I had this kind of vision that uh, I'm standing in in like a, in some place which is very dark, mm-hmm. and um, they are like a very dark clouds all over me, and uh, I, I'm just shouting out somewhere that uh, I have all this mess and all these struggles in in and these storms in my life. Mm-hmm. Is there some power or or something that could like stand by me and 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 uh, take my hand in, in a way or, or or something like that so so i i want to say that even though you have those struggles in your life and hardships mm-hmm. uh, i still want to keep it like a, a positive uh, attitude towards life mm-hmm. they are things that that you can go through uh if you receive help or or you you admit to yourself that you can't just can't go on by yourself Mm -hmm. and uh, but those are the times that you really need someone beside you whether it's your friends whether it's like uh, uh, some psychiatric help or maybe it's god who someone needs i i'm not here to tell with what things people need but uh, it's it constitutes like um, the idea that even though you're in the storms uh there's someone always beside you and standing with you in that storm yeah you mentioned um <clears throat> that um part of the concept in the background is you surrounded in darkness and kind of screaming out uh, did that translate into the cover art for the album itself? Because it it's you, you, it yes. looks like yeah, it looks like you sitting down and you're surrounded in darkness with a like a light above you. Um, well, I I I've, I def, definitely find myself there, uh, but but it's it's like a of course like uh, other band members they they want to relate to the album as well so but but i personally i i when i look at the album cover it's i i see myself there mm-hmm. and it's co- it's it's pretty close to the vision um and and we we told the guy who did the cover art that this is this is like the vision this is the story behind it so could you please create something like that. And of course he kept some artistic freedom. So it's not like, like a, exactly the picture that I um, imagined, but, uh, but I, yeah, we are really happy with that. I think it's very, very nice cover. Okay. Okay. Who designed it exactly? Uh, oh my God. I'm, I'm losing the name. I will. I will tell you just just a moment. Okay. So, um, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> this is so embarrassing. No, no, <laughs> don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, while you're thinking about that, um, 
Let's move on to the next question, and you can tell me later on in the interview. How long has the album been out? Yeah, so it, it was it was released uh, digitally and and physically as well on on May fifth this year. So it's been out like uh, yeah, two months now. Very nice, very nice. And, and uh, go ahead. Sorry, it's yeah. If 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 the listeners are 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 I'm wondering that where you can find the album, it's it's basically everywhere, di- digitally distributed. But uh, but it's it has if if one wants to have all the cover arts and uh, and and the lyri- lyrics and the physical item as well, it can be uh, it's shipped internationally. Okay, very nice, so, very nice. So um, that's one thing. Yeah, and do you have any personal favorites uh, from the album itself? Um, you, you know, it's uh, for different purposes. I have di- different favorite songs b- because, like, the stage performance is so important to me. Uh, it, it's it's like a and one has said that we are e- even like a harder band mm-hmm. in when we are doing live. It, it, our, I don't know the. The movements and the things that we do, it's it's closer to some like punk hardcore mm-hmm. mixed with new metal, you know, like uh, banging your head in not in like metalish way, but more like in in this kind of a new metal hardcore way. Mm-hmm. So for for that purposes, I I think. Um, uh i think mirror is pretty good That's and zalad yeah zalad as well but even though come back come back to me is is it's uh and and the music video it's it's pretty like we are we're not moving that much it was like a decision that we made we we just have want to have the pow- power in, in the video that we are not moving that much mm-hmm. but when we do it live it, it's it has like the perfect uh rhythm on on like especially the the chorus for if you want to bang your head if you're playing guitar it's a good for that right and uh yeah when it comes to another purposes of course save a life tonight is is very important song for me because it tells about my my son and and all, all the emotions so it's the more most meaningful song to me okay do you have any um, personal uh, favorite memories when recording the album? Mm, well, we we had a blast for sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, maybe may, maybe one thing thing to mention is that, uh, which is a pre- pretty funny thing, uh, the day we and we were just finished recording our our like electric guitars distorted guitars mm-hmm. and uh, someone said that hey what is this what is that smell that it smells like it's like a, something's burning like this electrical burning <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and uh and we saw that uh joel's uh, our guitarist's uh mesa boogie was was like a there was smoke pouring out <laughs> the amp and mm-hmm. we had a, like a, do very quick decisions, and we we <clears throat> grabbed the amp and and uh, started running uh, outside from the studio because it was about to start burning, mm-hmm. and we have just finished the recording, so it was like a, <laughs> the amp couldn't take it anymore. It's like ah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so that's. <clears throat> That's that's one funny thing. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing is was that um, you, you know when I do music, I I, I don't write down. I, I only write down like the lyrics. Yeah. I I I don't have any clue from where which kind of a, what is the main key of 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 the song or what are the choruses uh, oh, sorry the chords like okay this goes from c yeah. all right thanks for the information 
Yeah. So then we d decided, I played a couple of, some parts of, of the distorted guitars and mm -hmm. and main, mainly the uh, acoustic guitars. Yeah. But there was this one song that Joel had to play the um, the acoustic guitar and we were a little bit hurry. Mm -hmm. So we just thought that, okay, we, um, we, we had this kind of children's, you know, children's like a play corner or, or something like that. And you, you have this, um, where you can write or draw some, some things. So we used that. And I, I, when Joel was <laughs> recording the song, I, I wrote like, a I tried to come up with a, with the chords so it was uh it doesn't sound that funny but we we definitely had a hilarious times there that's that's awesome so <laughs> you come up with your melodies on spot am i getting that right like your your vocal melodies you come up with that on the spot uh no i i i, I of course like usually i have the melody, melody first uh -huh. And, and then I like uh, around the melody, I I create all the riffs and and and, and every like the basic structure of the song, and, and usually I I do the lyrics afterwards. Okay, yeah, I just wanted That's to the final. Yeah, I wanted to understand that. I didn't know if I was understanding that correctly. I just want to ask you about that. Um, unfortunately, and I say this every show, it's not unfortunate because I just love talking to my artists, but I do have to introduce the next song. Uh, this is the Brandy Wine Band with To Be Known. They're a uh, fellow, also ISSA finalist uh, for uh, I think they're emerging female artist. I think. Uh, but anyway, yes, I'm joined here today by Tarmo from Freya. We'll see you guys back here in a bit. You are listening to Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. <laughs> Just a child Who's been hurt 
And I know those I somehow Struggling to breathe All this time I've been deceived In this broken and shattered soul that I've tried to free I see me In the dark lonely road Fighting Just for one glimpse of hope
And that was Avalanche with Little Lotus. Before that, that was Violet Sin with Fading Love. What I've got up next for you is Silent Theory with their song, Just My Luck. And this features Josie Scott, the Grammy Award-winning original vocalist of Saliva. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys back here in a bit. You are listening to Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. Hey, I'm Doc here on Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. And guys, today I am joined by Tarmo from Frail. So, Tarmo, I want to ask you about your plans for the rest of 2023. Do you have any new videos or touring or live shows that you want to talk about? Yeah, so, uh, of course, like like the process of doing an album um, was pretty tough. Tough because we all have like a, a prof- professional careers. Mm-hmm. We we are working and we have families and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So we have taken some time off on on these musical things. Well, uh, of of course we we have plans, but but now like um, j- taking a little bit like easier, a couple of months. But uh, we we have a tour on on uh, in the autumn. Mm-hmm. in Finland uh so uh we are doing i don't know five to six shows in in, in mainly in in September mm-hmm. and um tour in around around Finland and uh we have also like plans to start recording new single um i i really can't tell you when it will be released but yes, we definitely 
want to do new mu- music and and uh, release it as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I I really cannot say at this point of, of the planning that are we going to do a music video, but but hopefully so. Mm-hmm. So those things are, are are we planning, but but we have this kind of strategy session with the band, so uh, like put some milestones and and maybe reserve uh, our time from from the studio and uh, yeah those those things and and of course we they are still like a we we it, it's a it's a tour for us, even though we don't have that many shows. Uh, but it's it's like um, because we had to uh, had a new drummer just in 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 the spring because our, our the guy who played in uh, in in the album he he got this so bad like um, tin, tinnitus tinnitus how do you pronounce it tinnitus. Uh, you t- know, yeah, tinnitus, yeah, the ringing in the ears. T- tinnitus, yeah, tinnitus, yeah. And so he had to uh, leave the band. Mm. So that's why we were initially we thought that to have a tour on on around the time when we released the album, but but we didn't have any drummer at that point. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, there are a lot of drummers, but we wanted to really select uh, a band member. Uh, that puts uh, one his energy and and time for for the band, so it wasn't that easy to find. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then we need to like postpone the tour to to autumn. So it will be uh, a couple of shows every every month, mm-hmm. uh, I would say. Okay. So that that will be awesome. So have you um you've played live before? Uh, have you played uh, with other artists, or has it just been uh, like solo gigs? Yeah, so so back in the days, we we toured a lot in in Finland and and abroad uh-huh. as well. Yeah, mainly in, in Europe, mainly. Yeah, uh, I don't know more than one hundred shows or something. Uh-huh. We have done. Um, yeah, we we have shared stages. Uh, like famous Finnish artists, but but not like like not mega artists, worldwide mm-hmm. stars. But usually, if, if you have a, like a bigger venue uh, where it's not that easy to get a, like a your own show, we tend to try to have a, like a support uh, acts yeah. uh, slots from from those uh, those places. Yes, yes. So we have played. I don't know. Maybe Poets of the Fall was something that we we used to. But they are pretty much similar music. I don't know if you know po- Poets of the they're, Fall. Yeah, they're one of my favorite. They're one of my favorite bands of all time. I love Poets of the really? Fall. Really? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, yeah, to death. Uh, yeah. We used to play with them. Really? Yes. That is incredible. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I'd love to meet them. It's it's a tragedy here in the United States that nobody knows who Poets of the Fall are. But they, yeah, they're one of my favorite bands of all time. And, uh, okay. I, yeah, I love them to death. Uh, Carnival of Rust. Um, they've got Love Will Come to You and, uh, Shallow and not, not to make this interview about them, but yes, I know exactly who they are and I love, <laughs> I love them to death. Yeah, okay. My, yeah, yeah. 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 My manager, Rebecca, loves her and love them too. You know, she, she does. Yeah. We used to play with them about, 2006, uh, seven or something like that was it when we, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they have they have done a great job. The, the time I was not, I wasn't doing music. They were doing so. Yeah. They start to be pretty pretty big in 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 Finland and in Europe as well. Yeah, and like I said, they really haven't come across as, to the states very well. Um, I think they've done a few tours over here, but. Overall, nobody knows who they are, you know, and it's it's a tragedy, honestly. And um, I don't know, <laughs> maybe maybe this radio yeah, show, it's, maybe this radio show will get there. It's so go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's very tough to to really like uh, hit the 
the American market. You you need to put put so much your own money to that. That's yeah. the one of the reasons. And, and and you know, if you think about like a record record label in Finland and record label in in United States, it's like a you are talking about like a like Earth and and the Sun, like the comparison of the size. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it, so to be able to to really um, make it to United States, you need some kind of extra boost. Uh, for Ville Valo, it was like um, he got, got to know this. Um, uh, the skateboarder, yeah. Yeah, Bam. You, yes. Yeah, yes. Bam like Bam, Bam, Margera and, yeah. and stuff like that. So he got like a very good boost from that. Yeah. Nothing to take away from Ville. But, uh, but yes, you need some extra help or it, otherwise it's it's so difficult because you have so so much um like music and you have so many bands there mm -hmm. so it's very tough to compete yeah i'm sure it is um do you guys plan on coming to you to the united states eventually with your music i yes i it would be a dream dream come true <laughs> you know yeah. Uh, but it's um, at this point, it's uh, of course it, it feels like pretty like um, um, a dream that hopefully it will uh, will happen, mm -hmm. but but maybe not in the short term. But but we'll see. We'll see. May, maybe some event, but but for a tour, it, it would take too much money. <laughs> Uh, I, I I should win a lottery or something. Yeah, yeah you, me, you and me both, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, if you ever do come to the United States, I mean, you're already being played on my radio show. I mean, we're based out of the U.S., obviously. But, um... Yes. <clears throat> so, we'll help spread your name out there. We'll, we'll try to give you that boost. <laughs> but, I don't... Yes, uh, I... But it would be a dream come true if it happens. Okay. Yeah, and if you do come over here... You better come knocking on my door. <laughs> Be like, uh, okay, it, it's a deal. Deal. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. It, it's a deal. I will. I will come back. Go to your door and hey, here I am. Yeah, <laughs> Tarmo. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, I, I do want to see you guys live. Uh, your music is incredible. Um, if you could pick, or not really pick, but when you do um start doing these tours in the fall uh what songs from your album are you looking forward to playing the most live um uh well i i, I tend to think about like the show i i'm as i said i'm i'm not the easiest person the personality and and I like uh, I always want to take an extra mile, yeah. uh, even when it come even when it comes to like stage performance. Uh, so we practice that a lot. So every time we we do rehearsal, uh, we don't just rehearse how to play. We it's a rehearsal for the show. Yeah, and and that's why I want to have like the core career movements like simultaneous movements and stuff like that. So. In that sense, usually we start with Zalet. Yeah. And I really like, I, I want that people who, who come to see the show, they are like, mm. they they have this boom effect. Yeah. <laughs> when everyone's like doing their movements uh, simultaneously. So maybe maybe Zalet is something that usually it's, a, it, it's like a people are like, wow. Or hopefully they are like, wow, what is this shit? Yeah, yeah, it's a good song. That one, yeah, that that one, that one will definitely give you a smack up the face, you know, upside the head, you know, and be like, pay attention, you know, <laughs> yeah. wake up, you know. So that's, that's a good yeah. one. That's a good one. Um, yeah. What is the most important thing to you when it comes to playing live shows? Um, well, as we talked uh, earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I said that I uh, I want to be like a, 
even if I would, let's say I would be famous one day and, and uh, maybe I, I won't, <laughs> most probably I won't that be that famous person, but I, I, I want to be like an average Joe. Uh, in a in a sense that uh, of course I want to uh, have a like a rock star look. Mm -hmm. I I I want to uh, like have all the gestures and things uh, that a rock star would do uh, when I'm doing those songs. But when I have like a, those short speeches between the songs, I usually want to. Um, be very friendly, uh, be generally who I am. Mm -hmm. and, and usually that's, uh, uh, people are, are they're easy to connect with, with mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. If we are like a normal persons. Yeah. And, uh, so let, let the music itself, if, if there's some stardom over there or, or the performance, let, let the stardom be something related to that, mm -hmm. but not that I would need to do be something else. Or, or try to like a like a I, I know bands who appease to the audience <laughs> seriously <laughs> so yeah. I don't need to do that to yeah. to be like a this kind of a messy <laughs> character <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so oh uh, if you could to co connect connect with people maybe that's uh, like long long answer in short to connect with people yeah talk to them after the shows and 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 usually they want to uh people who who are like following us they they really connect with the stories as well yeah so usually they want to share some things about themselves or I'll talk about a song about the story behind it. So I, I, uh, I find that very inspiring and that that's one of the most beautiful things of, of doing music yep. for me. Yep. I can relate to you on that. You know, I played live shows and now I'm doing radio shows and you know, the most important thing to me when it comes to doing radio shows, not to make this show about myself, it's about you. But I can relate to mm. you on that. I like, I like the fact that people connect with the show and the music that's played on here. So, you know, it's one of the reasons yeah. we, we do interviews is to help the band or help the listeners connect with the bands that they hear on the show. So, yeah, I, I can relate. Mm. To you. I can relate to you on that. Very yeah, much. and I and I appreciate you on, on on the approach for the show itself. No, thank you. Well, it's you know we're here so. <laughs> you, can, you can always come back. So, uh, Tarma, if you could meet any musician, alive or dead, who would it be? <laughs> what a question. Okay, now I know that what are the hard questions. I told you. <laughs> I told you. It's been easy yeah, up until this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, ba, ba, ba. Maybe it's, it's about, it relates to more about the, character mm -hmm. uh, even though I, I i don't like um i'm not that huge fan of of, of nirvana, nirvana mm -hmm. but i like to have a chat with kurt, kurt cobain that's good and choice. and and re really like to to understand what what he's going through and um and how how he approaches on on things mm -hmm. um, maybe to select another one um okay maybe what, what usually people would say like some some like a did, did you say by the way rock star or, or like composer it doesn't matter just a musician anybody that's uh, involved in music you know yeah so so maybe maybe something w would relate to like those uh, famous symphony uh, composers like Beethoven or something because they they are such uh, amazing work that they have been doing so I would like to learn about about the how they hear the music or is it like mechanical work that they just because they know the theory stuff and I, I don't know anything about music theory I, and i really don't want to know anything about it 
<laughs> <laughs> so, to be honest, but uh, but maybe it's, it would be nice those who have done those masterpieces. Uh-huh. Uh, and 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 thirdly, I maybe I don't remember. I would need to like have a quick peek on Wikipedia, but um, uh, but but the um, this one gentleman who who wrote the theme song for Schindler's List. Oh, you know, there's this violin. Yeah. Uh, he has done other like amazing uh, theme songs, mm-hmm. and and I think that's maybe the most powerful melodies that you have in the Schindler's, Schindler's List. If mm-hmm. if you have seen the movie, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd like to meet. Um, we might be talking about the same guy. I don't know, but uh, I'd like to meet. Um, Nino Rota, he uh, wrote the soundtrack to um, Romeo and Juliet with Olivia Hussey, and uh, he also wrote the Godfather theme as well. Um, oh, oh my God, we we relate to that as well. I I so much love that godfather theme as well oh it's my favorite movie man it's my favorite movie and part of the reason it's my favorite movie all three of them is because of the music and the music is just awesome all of it mm. yeah so i'm, I'm glad we can yeah, that too. Uh, that's a very good choice yeah. that's a very it's more sophisticated choice i just had like a <laughs> <laughs> no, beethoven worry. mozart what are those <laughs> No. Well, you had more time to think about it, so yeah. Yeah, and I wasn't one asking the God question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, Tarmo, is there anything that you would want to share with your fans that might be listening out there? Uh, well, I, I think I said the, all the main things and uh, um, about the band itself, uh, but maybe I just recommend you to. Um, if you have listened to what I, what we've been talking here, is to listen to this, to the album, and uh, as a small band, we, we of course live um, about like all the supporters, and so if if you really want to like support us in any way or or something like that uh, or share your comments on us or feedback i i usually i'm pretty quick on on answering folks in in, in social media and and i have this kind of pretty like a uh, fellow attitude so um, I, I i usually follow usually you just don't want to follow anyone everybody wants needs to follow you it's like the principle it's i don't i don't have that so mm-hmm. So if you have anything to say about or comment about our music, uh, just um, just go ahead to Frail's Instagram or Facebook or whatever. And uh, yeah. And if you like the music, please share it and uh, sp- spread the message yep. about this, this crazy group in, in living in Finland. <laughs> there, you guys are a great group. And uh, I want to ask you, and this one is going to be another one that's really tough. I'm I'm sure maybe it won't be. I don't know, but I, I intentionally ask people this because it's tough. What is the best advice that you've ever been given musically? Mm, I would say this: um, if if you if if someone has a, like a the talent of of doing music and uh like like because you you very quickly notice if someone is has like the ability to do to produce melodies of of their own and stuff like that Mm -hmm. so so there are a couple of cases where where there has been like very talented a person 
but but like the self esteem and and like the courage to do something it's been like a zero mm-hmm. so so i think that that has been uh, in in a way a best advice in in a way uh to to help them to 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 not be that try try not to be so perfect on everything mm-hmm. and and then another advice, and this goes more to the production of the songs, uh, maybe maybe even composing of the song. But usually, and and this is I think a good good advice in 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 other uh, domains in in people's life if lives if that if you want to impact with your music or or your art or or your ideas. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually the most scariest and, and most craziest ideas are, are are the things that that are the best and 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 keeping it in mind that even though some idea or or something that it if you feel it that it, it's too much uh but usually the the people who who hear it or or see it it, it can be like it, it's they had totally different perspective on it mm-hmm. uh, so so like the courage to to try out some crazy ideas once in a while and and try not to like a fix to, if you you listen to metalcore and and you're just listening to architects and yeah and not only listen to architects i want to do architects music mm-hmm. basically yeah so try to listen to totally different music uh, it, get inspired of that and and take some influences like some bits and pieces from totally different genres, and then combine them to the metalcore, and you might come up with totally new stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it was three advices, and you asked for one. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. No, man, <clears throat> it's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, hey, and I told you before the interview that you can go in depth however much you want to and, and you, there's no time limit on any answer so um unfortunately uh, i do have to end the end the interview now but i want to congratulate you first on your album stand by me in the storm in the video for come back to me and i'm gonna i i urge everybody that's listening out there please do check out their album pick up a copy if you can it's 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 Frail's music is some of the deepest music I've ever heard. And uh, they're an incredible band. Tarmo is an incredible guy. He's a good friend of mine. So please go out there and check out their album if you can. So thank you, Tarmo, for coming on the show. I really do appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Eric. It was, it's been so nice to, to meet you and get friends with you. And uh, I, I definitely come back here if you, if you ever want me to. Definitely. To visit you Definitely. on future releases of stuff like that. So yeah, you are always welcome back on the show. I don't want this to be a one-time deal where you know I interview you and then I, I never hear from you again. You are always welcome back on the show. Come back anytime. Come back anytime. Oh my god, that's so nice. So all the best to you and uh, yeah, have a great summer. You too. Summer and you had a vacation, so now you're energized on yes. doing. Yes, the I show. did. Yes, I did. This is my first show coming back from the uh, vacation and uh, fully refreshed and I'm ready to get back to work. So, yeah. Great. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Tomorrow. Thanks so much. No problem. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good one, man. Bye. Bye. And that was my good friend Tarmo from Frail. Tarmo, you are always welcome to come back on the show. Always, 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 always. And I must definitely hope you do. So let's keep the rock rolling here, guys. As I always say, I've got Dark Remedy next with Now or Never. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys back here in a bit. I am DJ Doc, and I'm the host of Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. Welcome to the table, now let's make a deal Business and pleasure, now let's make it real Sit back, relax, and let's unwind No going back this time You thought you could take this opportunity With impunity, when you sign that dotted line Don't you know what's in store for you?
been leaving me hollow Crave a better tomorrow I felt like I've lost It's a hard pill to swallow When they don't wanna see the good in you When this is all that you believe in And you see it through With everybody on the other side Just speaking through It only makes you wanna justify The way you speak it true This is all I am A gap to grin In the shell of a man Put it past all the pretenses Put in the plan Put it past the people Are pulling my hand In their own direction But my progression Is by my discretion Try some lessons Never close my path So I keep trying my best They will hold me back And that was Normandy with Stride. Before that, that was Black Oxygen with First Bite. What I've got up next for you is Lunar Code with Cutting the Cord. You are listening to Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. Number. You were fucked 
your disguise I don't want to sympathize Every time I realize Cause I know who you are And I've seen this all before I'm cutting the cord Hey, I'm Doc, and I'm the host of Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys are enjoying the show so far, and please do put a like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our newest releases. So I've got a song next called In the Shadow of the Moon by Gothany. I think you guys will enjoy it. Again, you are listening to Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. I'll catch you guys back here in a bit. Yeah. 
that was Kill Hall with Pure of Heart, Clear of Mind. Before that, that was Son of Man with Days of Doom. What I've got up next for you is my good friend Tim Steinreck with The Mighty One, his song, The Darker Side of Me. You are listening to Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. There's a place I sometimes go Where it's raining mist and cold Far away from peaceful light and Shadows cross my face Viking anger and a lust for more And you reflect that part of me And in your eyes I see The darker side of me Hey, I'm Doc, and I'm the host of Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But unfortunately, I do have to end the show now. But you guys know me. I'm never one to leave you guys empty-handed. Never, 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 never. I've got Straight to Pain last with their song, Sky Seekers. I'll see you guys back here again. Same bat time, same bat channel, as always, next week, Thursday, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. So until then, have a great weekend, a great and safe weekend. Please do take care of yourselves. I'll see you then. Take care. (laughs) 